Hey y'all, welcome to the Build a Brand podcast series where we talk about a wide variety of different topics and how it relates to the business journey, current business news, as well as, well, just plain old business in general. I'm your host, Jeremy Patton, and without further ado, we'll dive right in. Hey, y'all, I'd like to welcome you back to the Building a Brand podcast series. I am your host, Jeremy Patton. And the question of the day is, have you ever been in a situation or around a group of people where no matter what you did, you felt awkward being yourself or expressing how you truly feel? And the more you try to fit in, the more effort you put forth, the more awkward the situation will get. Well. That leads us to today's topic. And today, the topic of today's episode is just be yourself. Now, there's a few reasons why I advocate that you should just be yourself. And we'll go through all of them. But ultimately, you want to embrace being yourself. You, anytime that you change who you are or you try to, alter who you are to fit in you are essentially diminishing your personality and you are holding back what contributions you can have to the world or to society and the people around you so just be yourself right now the first reason that i suggest that you should just be yourself is because throughout life we evolve we go through different experiences. We find out new information. We learn th- new things, including skills, information, and everything in life in general. We pick up new hobbies. We pick up uh, new responsibilities throughout life. And part of evolving is growing as a person, growing your personality, growing your character. And sometimes in order to do so, you have to put yourself around like-minded people. And so I think that one thing a lot of people struggle with when being themselves is that they're afraid that the people around them won't accept them or they are afraid of how they'll be perceived by the world in general. And quite frankly, like you have to just embrace that. You know, if the people around you, if your friends and family members do not understand you or cannot accept you as your true self, and you walking in your true purpose, then I highly recommend that, you know, you learn how to deal with that and you just embrace it, unfortunately. Now, the good thing is the more you practice walking in your true purpose and uh, expressing yourself in your true purpose, the more you'll realize that there are other people out there with you know, similar mindsets and you might lose friends along the way, but at the same time, you'll also grow friends that you need for this new stage of your life, right? So if you are elevating yourself or if you are trying to break into a new industry or a new career or, you know, pick up a new hobby, a new, uh, you know, skill or trait, then you might need to be around similar people or people with the similar interests to help you craft a your personality, to help you craft your skill, to help you craft your message and help you get to the point and the level in which you want to be at, right? And people will connect. There's somebody that there are a plethora of different people in the world 
where you'll find your new friend circle. You'll find your group of friends and community that resonates with who you are as a person. And it'll make you feel wholer uh, and more full by embracing who you are and being around those like-minded people that bring some form of fulfillment to your life, right? And so that's my first reason. The next reason is uh, video content goes a lot further. Now, I say video content goes a lot further because uh, for my business, building a brand with Jeremy Patton, I recommend to all my clients, hey, make video content. And especially if you are the face of your brand, if you're the face of your company, or if you are a public figure per se, make video content. It'll go a whole lot further than still images, static images, uh, and you are able to communicate and express what you, how you feel and what you want your audience to see as far as your personality. And uh, you will be able to better communicate what it is that you are, you know, what you're advocating for. So no matter what your company is, what your brand is, what you as a public figure, whatever your stance is, you'll be able to express and advocate clearly, or you at least you'll be able to practice and improve advocating what it is that you are, you know, trying to communicate, right? So video content goes a lot further. There's been studies where the platforms have been analyzed uh, and the results come back overwhelmingly in favor of video content. These social media platforms push video content and also audiences are resonating with video content a lot more. They're spending a lot more time watching it because they seek it more. They it, it, Video content allows you to communicate more and stimulate uh, your audience's mind a lot more than a still image or written word content. I know so many people with tremendous personalities that are like they walk into a room and the whole room lights up and you could see it kind of translate into their written content. Say if they have uh, Twitter or Facebook or LinkedIn and the written content, their personality comes across and you could see that they get hundreds of likes or shares and views and reactions and stuff like that. Um, and I can't help but to think to myself, if you or that person or those individual people, because there's so many people with so many different personalities that are, uh, you know, that resonate with other people and draw in a lot of people around them. If they made the, that written content into video content, it would go like far further. People would share whatever the content is. Um, and, you know, a lot of people would express that they're not comfortable sitting in front of a camera. And Lord knows I know what it feels like not to be comfortable sitting in front of the camera. Just look at my previous videos, my first videos. I'm sure I have videos floating around somewhere where I'm messing up, uh, you know, simple two line sentences, you know, a hundred times over and over and over again. But the fact is that you will get more comfortable sitting in front of the camera. You'll be uh, more comfortable staring directly into the camera as opposed to looking around. Don't get me wrong. I still look around from time to time and there's definitely times where I mess up on camera, uh, but it gets more and more comfortable the more you do it. So I implore anyone that's out there that has a company that they can be or that they are the face of their company and anybody that has a, any type of public figure uh, you know, situation going on uh, in any career field, be your brand, right? Be your brand, make content, uh, be the star of the show, and 
put out video content because it goes a lot further. You know, if you're trying to increase yourselves, if you're trying to increase your awareness, if you are trying to increase your audience, or if you're just trying to simply put out your message, make video content, right? Like I said, it'll go a whole lot further. And you can still do written word. Like you could translate your written content into video content and vice versa. All right. So it's now one size, you know, or the other, or one shoe or the other. You know, you could do both. And then you're stretching your content. So now not only are you reaching your audience that you were already reaching through your written content, but you're also reaching a wider audience through your video content as well. Now, the next reason why I have is written down is because everybody's unique, right? We all have unique personalities and your uniqueness is the light and it is the energy that the world needs, right? Um, now, hopefully you don't have negative energy and negative uniqueness and all that. But don't put out any negative energies and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, as long as it's in a positive form and you are bringing fulfillment to other people, then, you know, your uniqueness is something that should be embraced and cherished and that you should, you know, take on as a badge of honor, you know. And like I mentioned earlier, uh, the many people that I know that rock into a room or know thousands of people, they your uniqueness allows you to connect with all those people, right? So if you're not walking in that uniqueness, if you're not, uh, if you are not being yourself, then you are essentially blocking off your blessings and blocking off other people's blessings because your character, your personality could be somebody's blessing. It could be the message that, you know, somebody needs to be inspired to, you know, do more, to be better, to, you know, uh, to change around somebody's day, you know, uh, there have been plenty of times in my personal experience where I have felt down or something like that. And then I got around somebody that had a bubbly personality or somebody that just had the right mindset for whatever uh, the situation that I was going through. And just suddenly having a short conversation with them um, or an extended conversation, it turned around my day for the better. And so there's people that are out there that need your personality to see the light in, you know, the gloomy world that we live in. So embrace it and walk into every room shining, being your whole self, being your true self and unapologetically yourself. Right. You know, as long as you're not out there disrespecting anybody or, you know, causing trouble or anything like that, be yourself. And if people cannot resonate with that, that are around you, like I say, you'll find your crowd, you'll find a circle of people that can, you know, just go out and be yourself. Now, the next reason why I have that follows up from the previous one is that society will literally force you to fit in and fade in with everybody else if you let it, right? We live in a world where like influence is overvalued, if you will, and popularity is overvalued. So a lot of people will try to mimic what other people are doing or mimic how other people look, or they will try to sound like other people or, you know, be like other people. Um, and when you have the mass majority of people trying to look like one individual person or look like one specific stereotype or, uh, you know, one kind of personality, then it all gets meshed in and blended together, right? 
So you have a lot of people that, and no say to them or anyone if that matter, but you have a lot of people that aren't really walking or speaking in their own voice and purpose, right? And just to fit in, just to be a part of the cool crowd. And you could do that if you want, but the problem with that is there's not too many people that are like everyone else that stands out. So if you look at celebrities, if you look at successful people, if you like successful professionals, um, people that started house name brand companies, if they're all people that walked on the path that's not written, that's not typically walked on. You know, they're, most of the people are people that took chances, people that had to sleep in their cars that, or, you know, they might have been out on the streets, sleeping in the streets, homeless. Their world was shaken up and like turned upside down on them. They didn't do what their friends did or, you know, what typically everybody in their family line has done. So it's all... You know, you have to be uniquely yourself to stand out because otherwise you'll you'll blend in and you'll fade in with society. I (laughs) the next episode, I'm going to figure out this TV screen. I'm going to leave it for now because I don't have time. But anyway, so society will try to get you to blend in. And if you let it, you definitely will blend in with society. And now my, maybe that might be a good thing. Maybe that's your comfort zone. And like I said, there's nothing wrong with that. There's no knock or shade to anybody that uh, is comfortable or that does operate in that world or that realm. But you, as that as you try to blend in, as you try to mimic other people or look like other people, sound like other people, you will never learn or know your full potential. Because again, we're all given unique personalities and characteristics and, you know, a different experiences and walks in life that help propel us and help boost us up to whatever our you know, optimal circumstance could be, right? And you can limit what you can actually achieve by, you know, blending in and doing like everybody else. So challenge yourself to stand out away from the crowd. Challenge yourself to do what most people look up to as, you know, as influencers or as successful people and look up, look at them and see what they did and look to see their path. Because again, these paths and successful people, they talk about it all the time, or at least they have in different interviews at different points in time during their their career or after their career. And they, many of them express that they had to take a chance. They had to do the thing that everybody around them told them don't do. And they had to find and make their own way. They had to make their own journey. They had to stand in their own shoes, use their own voice, and they had to express themselves and they had to fight for what it is and the level of success that they reached and that they wanted to attain. So again, in a society that is molded or created and that tries to have everybody blend in and, and fit into society, you have to, you know, be that lone wolf, that or that person that goes against the grain you know, and go the opposite way, be yourself, embrace who you are, because your individualism will stand out a lot more than if you look like 
you know, a million other different people, or if you sound like a million other different people. Now, th- my last reason to just be yourself is because your community, your customers, your fans, they will resonate more with you as an individual than it, as just your brand or your label, right? Especially in today's society, we have the power of social media. People want to see people and their journey as entrepreneurs. So if you are growing a business, if you're growing, you know, your uh, a performance name, if you're an artist, you know, people want to see who you are. People want to have real conversations with you. People want to be able to relate to you and relate to your journey, you know, because at the end of the day, we are all on this planet and we are all in a maze that we are trying to figure out, right? And some people are able to figure out the maze easier than others. Some people are unfortunately not able to figure out the maze. And you have a wide variety of people on different ends of the spectrum that look at other people and their company, and they want to relate and they want to, uh, they want to support you on your journey. So, and they want to be a part of your journey, right? So say if you are touring or doing a show in this city, or you're going to that city for a show, or, you know, you are setting up vendor events and your plans are to one day open up your own storefront, you know, people want to see you as you progress and people will support you as you progress. And as you advance and as you do make it to the next level or the next stage of your career or your business, um, you know, people will celebrate you that much more because they have had a chance to watch you throughout the different steps and journeys of your business, of your company, uh, of your brand. And so people want to relate to that. You know, people are, I think, again, it brings it back to social media. People are tired of, you know, putting their money in these companies where they never see the owner of the company or they, you know, and there's no kind of relationship between the owner and them. And they can't, they can't relate to them because those people don't live lives of everyday normal people. You know, they don't have those same experiences. They, they may or may not have clocked in to a nine to five, you know, 50, a hundred years ago or something like that. But They don't know what it's like for the modern day worker and people want people that have that experience and know what the life trials and tribulations and the difficulties of living in today in today's society is like, right. You know, the, you could have a world event occur and it could devastate the entire country. And you have these major corporations that, you know, they might put out a blank statement or something like that. You know, that doesn't make me feel like you are part of, you know, this society really, you know, but the person that jumps on their phone or that, you know, I know they're impacted because they're expressing that they're impacted or, you know, they are, you know, giving out whatever the condolences or, you know, just sharing their opinion or whatever. It goes a lot further with, you know, just the community as a whole. And so just get out there. Don't be afraid and just be yourself. Be a regular person, be yourself. uh, And, and know your stuff because whatever, no matter what industry you're in, no matter what your profession is, and when you're in the public light, you're going to be expected to know your stuff and you're going to be scrutinized to a higher extent. So be prepared for that. Um, but just be yourself, right? And people will relate to you.
And if they don't, then continue to be yourself because the people that need you and your personality, your opinion, they'll be able to relate to you. And as long as you're helping to make some kind of positive change, that's all that matters, really, at the end of the day. So that's my two cents. And that's going to wrap up today's episode. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Until next time, y'all take care and deuces. All right, all right. All right, y'all. That will conclude today's episode of the Building a Brand podcast series. Thank you for joining us today. As always, please comment your thoughts on today's episode below. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button to get notifications on future episodes. And as always, have a wonderful, exciting, and informative day. You guys take care. And as always, deuces.